Yes, sir, so far for the camera, how much weight have you lost? 24. 24? What do you think you're going to do by the end of the summertime? I want to lose like another 6 pounds so I can fit into a 910. You can have whatever you want. As long as it's on From the time that I was a child, I believed that I needed to be fixed, that I needed to be better, I needed to weigh less, I needed to hide my feelings and be what other people wanted me to be. I thought there was no way, exactly as I was, that I could ever be enough. And I lived with this idea for most of my life, and so it became my truth. And over time, the person I grew into being was no longer me, but whatever version of me I needed to be in order to get someone else to like me. I lived like this for 30 years, until one day I woke up feeling stuck under a mountain of my own making. A mountain of shitty decisions I made while I was just trying to feel loved. And I got scared that this was all my life would ever be. And so it was time for change. I didn't know what I wanted, but I did know what I didn't want. So I started an archeology span of my soul by getting really honest about what was hurting me in the moment. Layer by layer, I started to dig. I saw all the ways I had self-abandoned time and time again, telling everyone I was fine when inside I was screaming. And there I was at 40 and learning myself for real for the first time, discovering what was unshakable in me. And slowly, I started to build self-esteem for myself from the ground up. And here is what I know now to be true. I am not alone. There are millions of people who have felt like I felt. I am not broken. Change is hard but possible. I don't need to be perfect. The point of my life is not to fit into boxes that other people have created. And what I needed all along and what you need is to be the most you version of you that you can be. Get real about what hurts you. Get accountable. See your shit. And one step at a time, use self-love to liberate yourself and create life on your terms. You are not a before and an after. Your ultimate you is messy and imperfect and beautiful all at the same time. It is not too late. Life has not passed you by. There is room for you to shine. If you are searching for more, this book is for you. If you are caught between accepting yourself and wanting to grow, this book is you. If you feel invisible, underestimated, overwhelmed, but ready to show the fuck up and be what you're meant to be, this book is for you. Join me for Soul Archaeology.